Hey guys, what's going on? It's JK here. Welcome back to another video. So then guys, um, this is a different style of video, but today we are just going to get straight into things. Um, I'm doing this one differently because I don't want to do it live, and I really just wanted to um, record a bit on the t on the screen and then just do a bit of a voiceover. So this is where we sit in the Serie A currently in second position. But yeah, let me just tell you guys that today we face Piemonte Calcio at some point. Um, and basically, you guys know that they keep possession really well. They get a lot of crosses in and they push their fullbacks up really high. And that's to say we struggled. Um, but yeah, first leg um, against Bayern Munich was played. That's gone up over on the second channel by now. Um, we accidentally played with the second team as well, but it still came out with a 2-1 win. Uh, I think we were away from home as well. But yeah, before that next leg, we do have a simulation game versus Giona to play. Um, my aim, obviously, this season is to win the um, Champions League. So, no matter what happens, like, next episode, I'm gunning for that. But as you can see here, just going through the squad, Skriniar is still not 100% fit for this match. So, we're going to leave him out for a bit. Just um, don't want to be too risky. So, yeah, I've gone in with the main... No, second team, sorry. I've gone in with the second team. Um, can we win this game against Giona? Yes, it is, and it's a comfortable 2-0 win with the second side. And now, as you can see, Champions League action time as we face Bayern Munich in the second leg. But before that, we have some um, things to deal with. Fabinho says he's not getting enough playtime, even though I play him in most games. But yeah, this second leg against Bayern is pretty important, obviously. Um, if we want to win the Champions League, Bayern would probably be one of the favourites, along with us and Liverpool and Barca and Piemonte, who are all still in that competition as well. But yeah, let's basically get into it. So first, we are going to have a press conference. So, yeah, let's do the press conference. So just going to let this press conference play out. And then we will get into some gameplay, which is very nice. So, <sighs> um, honestly, guys, I'm really depressed today. I don't, I don't, I just don't want to spoil anything really, so that's why I'm not even talking about it. But yeah, um, game against Bayern, very big game as well. Obviously, I accidentally went to the second team before going into the first leg, so I didn't want to do that again. I wanted to make sure, I wanted to make sure my custom tactics were alright as well before we got into the game. But yeah, basically that's it. And now I think this is the actual game, so we obviously have to go into a training drill first, which I decided to keep in because I could have just um, ended it and then just took a screenshot and something. But I decided that I'd just show it all. <coughs> By the way, guys, my cold isn't as bad, so I'm recovering from it. But yeah, this is one of those challenges that was in there back in the day, and like you would recognise it so much. But nowadays, you don't see this so much, where you have to try hit the FIFA targets. But yeah. Um, my favourite drill is the attacking scenarios ones, because they're just so much fun to do. Um, it gets you better in attacking situations as well. So here we go, big Champions League night against um, um, ch -ch 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 Bayern. Bayern, what am I saying? 2-1 um, in the first leg. This is the team they have, Lewandowski, Madison, Bale, Muller, Goretzka, Kante, Gomez, Hernandez, PK, Neuer, Pavard. PK at left-back's weird, their free midfield is a position, weirdly. I think we should be able to come out with a win in this one. It's obviously going to be uh, obviously going to be very tough, and whoever we face next time, it'll probably be like Liverpool or Piemonte or Barcelona or something crazy. But yeah, if like let's say we were to go, like say in the next round, if we get through this game, we were to go like three one down or something first leg. Honestly, um, I'd have to win like two nil to get thrown away goals. But if it's against like Piemonte, who keep the ball really well, it's going to be really tough. But yeah, getting into the gameplay here. Um, Memphis Depay coming on the attack now, looking for Martinez, but no, he's not made a correct run. Eriksen into Depay, Martinez into Depay, about across to Uzman, who has low driven it into the bottom corner. What a finish from Uzman! Great team play as well. Um, congratulations on that one, guys. Yeah, ball played across, low driven, and yeah, that was such a nice finish. And now we are in pole position for getting through to the semis of the Champions League. But Bayern now on the... Oh, God, voice crack. But Bayern now on the attack. Coming down the right-hand side with Gareth Bale. 
which is a weird signing in my opinion. They do also have Canabry on the bench, who they haven't decided to bring on. He comes on later in the game. Yeah, nice little play here. Ball comes in. Uh, um, decent flick on. So I bring the keeper out here to try cover off any angles. They've just sweat it back, and Lewandowski scores the tap in. My mistake there for bringing out the keeper. But I do make a lot of mistakes in this episode. Yeah, now later on in this game, Edison makes the catch, and we almost lose it there. Almost lose it. Now we come on the attack. Memphis plays with Chal Felix. Very lucky to get onto the ball there. Now can we make something of this? Laying it off to Lautaro Martinez about 30 yards out. Is that a green tie for Ness? Oh, it's in. Oh, my word. Lautaro Martinez, you beast. Green time for Ness shot from 30 yards out, and he's done that. What a goal. Look at that, about 30 yards out, edge of the D, and he's finessed that top corner against one of the best keepers of all time, Manuel Neuer. I think it's Manuel Neuer in goal. But yeah, now moving back into the recorded stuff, not the clips. Um, so here we go, we're playing out the final minutes of this game. I'm just going to let this play, maybe bring up a couple of things every now and then. But yeah, next year, guys, I don't know whether you want to see live stuff, or you want to just see this stuff with voiceovers, because voiceovers only take me how long the video is. Whereas actually creating the video takes half the time because you have to record the video, edit the video and stuff like that. It just takes way longer doing this, but it looks a lot better. The audio quality isn't great, but I'd have to get like a proper mic that actually works for that. My mic doesn't work, which is unfortunate. But yeah, now coming down the right hand side, can we get a late goal here? Who's Monday Dembele? Fake shot stop. He's been muscled off the ball by Jared PK. And that is it. We are through. Tough result, but we have managed to get through. Um, Bayern Munich knocked out, and yeah, very, very good indeed. Now, I don't think we're going to a, a um, post-match press conference. We shouldn't, though, because that'd just be stupid. Um, you're just making sure I'm recording now. So we advance. Um, Real Madrid have actually lost to PSG. Wow, they could be out, which means it's probably going to be like Paris Saint-Germain, Piemonte Calcio... And Liverpool or Barcelona, because, yeah, Liverpool, Piemonte, and Real Madrid. So, I feel like if we get Piemonte, it's actually going to be over, because we do play them in this episode, so I'm going to reveal now. We do get Piemonte. But the but the thing is, they do beat us as well, 3-1. Won't ruin the goals, though. But their fullbacks go so high up, they get so many balls in, and they just keep possession. They got, like, two really lucky goals. Two preventable goals as well. They got a really lucky tap and header. Um, that I'm not going to... Actually, I've just ruined it. And then they get a late goal, which I just fuck up. I could have just cleared it. <coughs> <coughs> at that point, I, at that point, I was... At that point, I was just happy to take a 2-1 win into the second leg. But then make a mistake because I'm talking with mates about Rocket League. And I get punished. But yeah, now actually top of the league level would be Monte Calcio. We're head on goal difference. We've scored a lot of goals this season, conceded barely any. So yeah, we are now top of the league. And now we have a simulation against Napoli. And I feel like we were about someone in this game. And I feel like I made a few errors trying to go into the game. Um, no, actually, we, were, we have our full strength side as well, which isn't bad. But yeah, I did check Cristiano Ronaldo's price and stuff in between episodes, guys. He's only worth £30 million. It was so I could have got him instead of Jao Felix. I would have gotten for like half the price, and he would have been sick off the bench. I could have even used him. A tuna win against Napoli, but we do get a draw in this episode, guys, as well, which puts us back down in the pecking order. I actually don't know where Lazio are at this point. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch, Lazio is still two points behind, so they probably would have taken advantage. And now moving to second. But yeah, now I just go into competition progress, and it's Liverpool, PSG, and Monte Calcio in the semi-finals. Um, I fully expect Liverpool to beat PSG, um, but it just depends on how the transfers have worked for Liverpool. So, obviously, they've got rid of Joe Gomez, have they got rid of Trent? We have obviously, yeah, actually, I back PSG to go through. So, it'll either be PSG versus us or Piemonte in the final. And, yeah, after that 3-1 loss in the first leg, I'm really not confident. I am just so, so, so upset about that game. If we actually, like, lose the game now, I'm going to be, like, really upset. So, yeah, guys, if we do actually get knocked out, then I might just end the series. I might not even finish off the series, guys. I might just end it there because chances are we have to win 2-0 in the away leg. Uh, no, in the home leg. Um, it is possible. We have beaten Piemonte Calcio by a bit before. If not, and Piemonte Calcio get a goal, then we have to score, like, three goals or something, and it's going to be absolutely crazy. No, we have to score... 
three goals to send it to extra time, four goals to win two. We have to just keep a clean sheet, basically, and we have to score two goals. So it's going to be really impossible. I think we'll go out, in my opinion, but yeah. Um, simulation now, Funa went away at Atalanta with the main side, I believe that is, but there are a few suspensions being picked up now towards the back end of the season. Almost in May now, actually, which is great. Um, in the last month of the season, so... Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'll abandon the season or not, because... Like, you have to see next episode, guys, because next episode, first game, will be the Piemonte game, which I'll do fully live um, as well. And then if I get knocked out, I'll end the series. If I don't, then I'll just play it. But, yeah, we have to go with the second team against Roma. But, no, we've gone with the main team, and this was a mistake on my part. We've gone into the game with a low fitness skull in ER. We don't have Kula Bali because he's injured, and also Hakimi's got a red card. And the AI actually decides to put in Borella at right back, which is a stupid decision. Why they haven't just put in, like, Renan Lodi or... Or was it actually left back? I don't know. But why haven't they put in, like, Renan Lodi or Nico Williams or something? Borella can't even play there, look. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, they've put in Lazaro. Yeah, they put in Lazaro at right back. And did we win that game or draw that game? I don't remember. I didn't actually see. I um, might have to roll that back. I'm not sure. But I don't know if I'll be able to now. Um, but yeah, now going into this game against Piemonte. Definitely the toughest opponent we've faced so far because we lost 3-1. But yeah, the goal we got was good. They got two really bad goals that I will explain during the match. But yeah, after that, I get so mad that I just come to off the game and go play with my mate. So, a bit of fun. But yeah, after that, guys, I'll probably have to do the intro as the third goal is playing. But that won't work because I skip it and it's such a long goal to explain. But yeah, um, I'm now just making sure everything's all right. Making sure the players are in positions, making sure everyone's fit. Not everyone's fit, unfortunately, but, you know, we try our best. And now we have to play it. The game that costs us. I swear, like, every time we go in with our home kit against Piemonte, we are made to pay. But when we go of our away kit, we actually do really well. But yeah, maybe we go the away kit next game. It's just kind of like a stipulation, I guess. But yeah, let me just explain the first goal. No, the third goal. The second goal and first goal I can explain. But the third goal, basically, I'm not paying attention. I give the ball away to Taliska. He misses. The block comes in. And instead of clearing it away, I tried to play it out from the back. They intercept it. The, the shot that they take gets deflected. And um, it comes somehow comes to Werner. The debatable offside and he scores, punishes us. So we have to win 2 0 at our home stadium. It's not impossible, definitely possible, but it's going to be really tough. Um, what would you guys think about me moving it down to world class for that game? Because it is on legendary, by the way. So I'm not surprised I'm conceding a lot of goals. But yeah, it is on legendary. What would you guys say about moving it down to world class just so I can get to the final for this series? Because I've won the Serie A, the Coppa Nazionale. I want to win the Champions League. So maybe I turn it down to world class for that game. And if it gets too easy, I move all my sliders down or something. Yeah, here we go. First goal. They get a corner. Um, get really lucky there with the ball coming out back out to them. Um, ball whipped in. Somehow Ronaldo's got to that and he scored. Like, uh, that goal shouldn't be happening. But it was a decent finish anyway. Now moving on to the second goal. We come on the counter-attack. But no, we've lost the ball. And now Piemonte are coming away with it. This is the goal that I hate. Look, as you can see, fullbacks now starting to push forward. Getting in a lot of crosses in this game as well. Keeping possession really well as again. Um, get the ball through to Timo, who's actually sent him to the shops. And I've tried to block it. It's come off the post. Yes, no. I don't know what's happened there, but basically what happened is the ball bounces up. It then bounces off his knee. It comes out, bounces off his knee. Um, and then Grimaldo just gets in there and heads it. It's so lucky to get that one. And now this is our goal back. Now, nice play. Just trying to get an away goal here. If we'd have gone through 2-1, it would have been a win. But yeah, it's getting through here. Near post from Memphis to Pine. It's a great finish. And at this point, I'm just like, you know what? Let's try to get this equaliser. Now, obviously, I'd already told you we won 3-1. And I was going to hype this goal. Up like, oh, yes, we have a clip. Can we get the goal? But no, what am I doing there giving it away in the 89th minute? And look, they come on the attack. They've got the ball. At this point, I'm just like, tackle them. Tackle them. Please, guys, tackle them. Just please tackle him. I don't even know who that guy is. But good interception. Now let's just play it out to the right back. No, it's gone to Talisco. Win the ball. I'm panicking at this point. I'm shaking. It's come to it. That's got to be a goal. No, it's deflected. No, it's come back out. Oh, and he's cleared it. No, no. 
Oh, how's that happened? But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you.